Well, hello, strange people. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Film number 300, I do believe. This won't be any better than the 299 before it. There you go. This is always getting, well, sorry, I should say. This is getting more and more common now. This pool between, in the coal between uh, Staple Tour, Great Staple Tour and Cox Tour. It's dry again. And uh, it's really sad to see. Really sad to see. It's quite a distance to the next water source from here. Uh, there is a, a stream down there, but I don't know if you'd make it out with the camera, but there's a wall which will stop the ponies getting in. And the source of the stream will be dry now anyway, that dries up at this time of year. The next water source is over the top of those tours, between the tour that's in the middle there and the other two, there is a river and there is a, a leet in that direction but that's a three quarters of a mile or so away. So there's not a lot of water up here, there's nothing in that direction. This is getting more and more each year now. Catching a mo. Shut up. Oh, seriously, it's walking back for the camera business. What a pain in the bum. Not a bad spot. I do say so myself. I won't take you around any further because uh, the sun will get in your eyes. Yeah, beautiful spot. Novice Wild Camp is down that way somewhere. He actually told me that the uh, the coal was empty, which is a shame. Look, I've already told you we're not getting married. I'm not doing that again. Women. Right. This is where I'm going to be camping. I haven't quite decided where exactly, but we'll stop here, I think. We were going to be down at the uh, pond. I packed my bag and I've got my game camera in and everything. I've, I've always said to Ant as we've walked past, I always want to camp here because I want to see what comes and drinks here in the evenings. So I brought my game cam, or packed my game cam, and then I got a message to say it was empty. Hardly surprising, we haven't had any rain here for well, a light shower two or three days ago. But other than that, we haven't had anything for well over a month now. I think it's forecast for the end of the week. The weekend and into next week, but who can say? They told us we were going to get terrible thunderstorms and it never happened here. I think it happened further up country. Yeah. If you're watching Wild Camper, I hope you're having a quieter evening than I'm having. The girls here are proper noisy. Newcastle mates, I reckon.
beautiful evening. Would have been nice to stay here too. But uh, Pelican Chief here has forgotten the fuel for his uh, Trangia. I know what's happened. Uh, my bag is all packed at home. Uh, I was going out on a canoe trip tomorrow, canoe camp tomorrow, and uh, I've thrown the fuel in the other bag. I've got three, three trangias, and obviously one's in the kit here. What an absolute pillock. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, I could stay. I've got cheese, I've got pita bread somewhere. I've got uh, spinach I can have with the cheese. All of these things, obviously, I can have raw. But uh, I've also got minced beef, which I was going to cook up. I have a sweet chilli. Sweet chilli meat, uh, minced beef and in pita breads, and the meat will go off. So uh, I might as well go home and cook it. Bugger. It's an absolutely gorgeous still evening. You just don't get many of them up here. Warm as well. Bugger. Never mind, it just means all I've got to do is put the canoe on the roof of the car tomorrow and drive off. I think I'll sit here and watch the sunset and then uh, catch you all on the next one, number 300. I told you it was going to be no better than the other 299. Catch you on the next one. Me again. Um, if you uh, want a couple of recommendations for channels to watch, I highly recommend Kimber Bushcraft. Um, I think he's in Denmark, Danish guy. <clears throat> he sort of does his bushcraft in a, a Viking style, which I quite like. Um, and the other one is really, it's more of a shout out and a, a rescue mission. Um, I'd be really appreciate it if you could go over and uh, if, if you're already subscribed, just like his videos, just, you know, just humour him a bit. Um, if you're not subscribed, go over and subscribe to uh, Nobby Lee at Step Away From The Screens. Um, as I say, this is a bit of a rescue mission because it appears he's it looks like he's 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 almost a vegan. Right. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>